So hi everyone, welcome to A Godly Home. So I thought I would do the last Easter reading live this morning. I know Easter is done, but the story is very important and I feel that I really needed to finish it. And I'm kind of strapped for time today, so I thought rather than doing the pictures and all of that, I would just get on here and read the rest of the story with you guys, and then I would know that it was up and that I had finished this project. So the first thing that I want to say is that I am not reading all of the scriptures because there would just be too much. I've just been hitting the highlights of the scriptures. And if you guys want to know the full story, the whole thing, none of the verses being left out, then you can read that in John in your Bible. So let's get going here. Um, the next part of our story is going to be in John chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. And the background of what happened from my last reading to this reading is that Mary Magdalene, Peter, and John went to the tomb where Jesus was buried, and they found that the tomb was empty. Then Jesus appeared to Mary, and then he appeared to the disciples, and now I'm going to pick up with the Bible reading. Again, this is John chapter 20, verses 24 through 29. One of the disciples, Thomas, nicknamed the twin, was not with the others when Jesus came. They told him, we have seen the Lord. But he replied, I won't believe it unless I see the nail wounds in his hands. Put my fingers into them and place my hand into the wound in his side. Eight days later, the disciples were together again, and this time Thomas was with them. The doors were locked, but suddenly, as before, Jesus was standing among them. He said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Put your hand into the wound in my side. Don't be faithless any longer. Believe. My Lord and my God, Thomas exclaimed. Then Jesus told him, You believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who haven't seen me and believe anyway. So what I want to say, finishing this up, is you've heard the story. You've heard me read it. I will be putting all of those together in one playlist titled Easter Story. If you want to go through and read them again, I want you to be asking yourself, do I believe? If you have not accepted Jesus as your Savior, I want you to ask yourself, do I believe in this story that has been read to me over Easter? Because that is a first step. You have to believe and then the next Bible reading that I do, we will talk about how to be saved, what that means, and we'll cover all of that. So between now and then, just be thinking, I've heard the story, and do I believe? Because let me read this last scripture again. Then Jesus told him, you believe because you have seen me. Blessed are those who haven't seen me and believe anyway. Blessed are those that haven't seen me but believe anyway. All right, I'm going to end it right there. I hope everybody has a blessed day. Bye.